Now, I'm talking to you today because APA has adopted PROCIA's clinical platform for digital pathology, and we've been using it for a while now, and we love it. Some of the features of the, of the clinical pathology platform is its accessibility. It's cloud-based, so now I can have my pathologist dial in and look at any image from that image from our practice as long as they have internet access. So they don't have to come into a central point. They don't have to, it, it can be done from where they sit and work. Very, very powerful. The second is, is, is the IT people, IT people say it's image format agnostic. What I like to say is I can upgrade my current scanner or I can go to a different manufacturer for scanning and the Procia platform can accept my image. Very powerful, flexible feature, which I like. The other thing is list interfacing. Now we talked about for, for digital pathology to become efficient and helpful, we have to interface the flow from the imaging to the reporting, back to reporting to our customer, the end user, the clinician. And the clinical platforms that are being developed now have an opportunity to interface with our current list systems, or they, ha they have an opportunity to supersede our current list systems. I'm interested to see where the market's going to go on that. But the ProShip platform is interfaceable. It can pull in data from our system, ADT data, patient information, and it can take data out from its system back to our list system. Very, very helpful. And the last thing is, is it's called real-time telepathology, but I, I liken it to a virtual multi-headed microscope. And in, in our practice and in many others, it's very difficult for us to get seven or eight or 10 or 15 people around a microscope so that we can have an expert talking about a case and everyone seeing this, the same image in their optics or on the screen. And now with digital pathology and with Proche's platform, we can do that. Very powerful, very powerful. We can upload an image, people can dial in, and we can have someone talking about and manipulating the image, discussing the findings, and everybody sees the same thing. We can also, if, if I'm a referring pathologist and I send in an interesting case and the expert's talking to me about the features, he, can, he or she can also give me control of the image so I can come back and point out and say, well, what about this area there? It's, it's quite powerful and, and very, um, it, it's going to be a very helpful thing to, to our practice.